Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert with the second in a series of two videos looking at the Austrian Audio Polar Designer plugin. In the first video, we looked at uh, what the plugin is and uh, how it does what it does. Here we've got the uh, same tracks using last time. This is Jack Kessel, and uh, I've got a cardioid mic on the vocal, we'll that's an OC18, and I've got an 818 on the guitar. Just to save the so looking at this guitar, we've got uh, a moderate amount of vocal spill. It's not terrible but we can probably make it a little better using the Terminator control in the Polar Designer plugin. So let's have a look at that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to identify a bit where, actually, I mean, here, I've got a nice long section of just guitar. That's just the wanted signal. Now, at the moment, we're listening to it in Omni. Um, I can go through and change it globally or by band manually, we did that last time, but instead of doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play that wanted signal, and I'm gonna say, maximize that, give me as much as you can of that, by hitting maximize target in the Terminator controls. Maximize. And there we are, straight away, it's identified that we wanna be uh, figure eight, which doesn't make, that makes a lot of sense, uh, but for some reason, I don't know why, it's decided that we should be in Omni across this uh, two to kind of 8K band. We can have a listen to exactly what that is. So that stuff, it thinks is better off in Omni. I'm going to take his word for it. Let's just uh, A, B and see what it sounds like. So, uh... Well, it's certainly more energy there. It's louder, which is, after all, the point. Okay. And we could put that in. We've got a slightly louder guitar versus... And the whole thing's got slightly louder because we're mostly in figure eight, which is a hotter pattern. But um, proportionally, and if I were to match the gains, I think we'd probably hear that the, the guitar's slightly more forward than uh, than the vocal. Can we get it to take the vocal into account as well? Well, we can, actually, if we come in here. And because we've already done some terminating, we've got this max target to spill button. So well, that didn't take long. And now what it's done is it's trying to find the best option between the two. So it's maximizing the target, but also minimizing the spill as much as possible. Uh, but this is trying to find a best balance between the two, which is very often what you want. So what does that sound like? Well, let's have a listen. It's definitely pushing it back a bit. I mean, Obviously, this is never going to completely get rid of something that was there. You can't do that using a polar pattern um, uh, and under anything other than absolutely ideal conditions. But uh, that is a significant gain for very little work. So let's pop that back in with the that we've earned every second vocal mic. I'll be there to mend your heart if you and that is how you maximise target to spill using the AI controls in uh, Austrian Audio Polar Designer. This is a great example. There's loads of examples where you could use this, for example, around a drum kit. Um, there are so many examples of spill that you could try to pull out using that. But uh, here we are with a vocal and a guitar.